Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about tips. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is the one tip that changed your coding skills forever? Well, I would say that it w would be keep it simple stupid. I think that that is the best tip that I ever uh, I ever had. It's it, it wasn't said as cleanly as that, but uh, I uh, I will I learned it from two of the most important programmers that I've ever worked with. I still credit them with uh, uh, practically. I'm not saying saving my career per se, but uh, very close to something like that. I would not be where I am today without them. Uh, and I would have not even not nearly gotten to as far as I've had I have in the time I have uh, without them. So uh, basically, what happened was that I can I, I'll give you a small story about this. So I was lunching with my uh, with my coworkers, and I was explaining this new product that I was dealing with with a few other dudes. And I was very excited because I explained, okay, this is the project, this is what we're doing, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. And so, uh, he, the uh, uh, one of the things that I say to them is that, and what makes me really excited is that now I have this opportunity to learn a lot about Docker and containers because it, it was a while back now. This was before Kubernetes actually became a thing. Uh, and uh, that m m is pretty cool because with these containers it's so, so easy for me to connect them together and then make microservices. And my coworkers they kind of looked at me and said, but Frederick, why are you using microservices? And I go, well, you because I want the scalability because uh, I mean, uh, what's really powerful about it is that when I want to scale up one part of the system, it's really easy for me to do that. And then if I have other pr developers who join the product, they can work on one piece and I can work on another piece, uh, which makes it super sustainable. And I mean, when the company grows and becomes a big success, uh, it's going to be super, super easy to uh, to scale each individual part as I need it. And it also keeps things very cl clean, which is also pretty cool because now I don't have to have as much code uh, in one place as another, uh, which keeps things very s simple uh, and small. And they look at me and they say, yes, that I would su suppose that that is true, but you don't work at the scale where these things are a problem yet. No, no, of course not. But I mean, I'm just preparing. I want to be ahead of the curve, so I don't have to uh, have to do this later. And like, I have all the problems that we have in our project later. And they say, well, you don't have to get to the point where we are. You can actually start fixing things much earlier. That's what that's the problem we have. Like, we have never actually gotten the buy-in to do this. But now you're actually paying a higher cost for the in terms of productivity because it's taking you longer to build your system and I kind of I didn't want to admit it but I knew in my like I knew that they were right like I said yeah but still I think that like I really didn't want to hear this so I said yeah but still this is actually I think that this is good I mean uh, it takes I mean because it did I mean it did take a lot of time to orchestrate go between different projects all the time having to share models and so forth uh, and like versioning things between each other it was very complicated but it you know me I did I was doing microservices and so they said well Frederick uh, since let, let's just talk about this uh, when you don't even have a prototype yet like you haven't even built something that you can show someone that's gonna use your system so why are you creating all this work for yourself before you even know if this is the system that you need because uh, I mean the the best thing to do here is to build this the thing like the simplest thing like a basically just a monolithic application as quickly as you can so that you have something that is working that does the thing that you need and then show it to your stakeholders because it's very likely that they're going to come with new requirements and the system is going to continuously be developed especially in the early days 
because in the early days that it's more important for you to be able to produce things really quickly and change um, things at the drop of a hat uh, than it is to have like a perfect structure to the project because uh, you, you don't need that structure the, because the complexity of the thing that you're building is not high enough to warrant so much overhead to your development process um, and I went well and of course I denied it like I just told them that no I don't agree I think that uh, you should it should definitely be be a factor uh, that you, you design w things well from the first uh, from the get-go and then they say well yes but I mean just because you're using a monolithic application that doesn't mean that you have a bad system it's not a it, there is no like the the thing about having spaghetti code and clean code and so forth you can achieve all of these things in a monolith uh, monolithic application you can have very nice and clean monoliths it's just that usually when you get up to a bigger scale that's when you start to have problems when you have peop many people working on the same code base and we discussed this back and forth back and forth and i think the lesson started sinking in about six months or a year after that when I started to realize that holy shit it is hard to maintain this perfect uh, structure and all this orchestration and there were so many things I had to learn instead of just having the product up and running I had to learn all the things about docker and orchestration and virtual again like uh, all of this extra uh, overhead that I needed to do in order to actually get anything to a proof of concept state and finally I just realized that you know what I'm just gonna do this with Firebase I got the same system done in a matter of days, maybe say say a few weeks, in comparison to the several months. And let's be honest here, I was a bit of more experience at that time, but the the time difference was enormous, and it still ended with the product failing falling through because things were taking too much time, and we didn't have enough steam to continue doing the thing. And just uh, the other the other day a day. A coworker of mine came and said, "Hey, Fred, we should ha we have this startup idea. Do you want to be in on it?" And we rubber ducked a bit about it. And I took all of these painful learnings that I got and said, "Dude, trust me when I say, keep it simple, stupid." And he sh we shipped the proof of concept thing to the stakeholders in two days. It took two days when like I have never made an implementation that was as simple as that. We literally had a system that was like this. It's a fairly big system, but it took two days. Well, of course, we're much more experienced now, but I mean, we didn't even create a database. So I went from being this person who was completely obsessed with you need to build the right system because you have this long term vision and so forth and so forth and blah, 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 to being the person who said, you know what? We don't even have to have a backend system. Just create a server with a React app and then use Redux and Redux persist. And that way you can kind of simulate the usage of the U UI because that's the thing that is important to our consumer. And then when they have, because then they're going to come with a bunch of ideas and we have basically done no work. And then when we get to a point where we can't sustain their their feedback cycle with new thing basically is built, they have feedback and so forth with just the UI and we actually have to implement the server let's do it then let's just add the server when we need it and it was a delight I have never felt so at peace with the decision in my entire life so what I want you to take away from this is that the best tip I ever got that in changed my way of writing code more than anything else was keep it simple stupid understand that the best thing for you is to produce a solution that is the simplest thing that you can make for the moment. The analogy that my coworkers that really saved me was, told me was this, Frederick, if you're tasked with building a road for a small town, you have a few options. You can build a super highway because the town is in the future going to turn into a city but if you build a super highway you're going to pay a lot of money 
to do that it's going to take a lot longer and nobody's going to be able to use your super highway for that for, uh, for that extended for for the longest time and the co cost of actually maintaining that road is going to damage the, all the other things that the town wants to do and it might take it it might bankrupt the town or it might make it much slower for the town to grow into a city so by making a dirt road to start off with which is right for the moment well, just make that a really good dirt road and remember that is this thing is likely to turn into a superhighway at some point. So when you're designing that dirt road, make sure that it's easy to change it when you actually need to. But don't create something that is more advanced than the thing you actually need for the moment just because it might be a good idea in 10 years because you don't know what's going to happen in 10 years. So make, make the thing that is as simple and as flexible as possible first and then update that work when uh, as needed. Have a great day.